We will make a website that will be a portfolio website. You will find all the details of your personal portfolio, what you do, what skills you have, what things you cannot include in the resume. All those things can be included in your portfolio website. This is very good for your future and for now. This is mandatory. Whenever you do a job in the future or you are selected in the geo hoster, it is very important to have a portfolio website for you. So we will start making a website for you. We have given some steps in this. We will use these steps to make a website. To develop any website, two things are very important. Hosting and domain. Let's find out what is hosting and domain. Domain is the address of your website. When you search for geo hoster, come, it is the domain that is the address of your website. Similarly, your domain can be taken from your name or your favorite keyword. Hosting is where all your website content is stored. We have learned about simple hosting and domain. To make a website for domain and hosting, you have to search for GeoHoster. Come on your browser. You will scroll it. After scrolling, you will see three plans. Click on the gate. You have to register your domain. You can either name your name your domain or your favorite keyword. After that, you have to choose extension. We will click on .in. .in is good for India and is cheap, so we will go with .in. After that, we will click on check. We will show the availability and price of this website. After scrolling, we will click on continue. We will have to use the hosting plan for one month or one year. I will suggest you to go with one year, because one year plan is very cheap for you. If you do monthly, it will cost you. After that, click on continue. Here you will see our products inside our cart. Here you can take your domain for one year or two or three years. We will take it for one year because it is enough for one year. After that, click on checkout. We have to fill some details here. Fill the details. You have to leave the adjectives in the domain registration and domain registration information. You have to do nothing in it. Here you can give your password. You want to keep the password of your account. I will give the password here. Now you scroll it. Click on Complete Order. You can choose Payment option and Payment here. Here we have the payment. Now it will redirect automatically on your dashboard. Or you can simply go back here. Our dashboard is open. Here you can see that our basic plan of shared hosting is active. Here you can see our domain which we have purchased. Hosting and domain have been purchased. Hosting is active here, but it takes 10-15 minutes to active the domain. I will use my other account details here. You can wait for 10-15 minutes and it will be active. After that you can start the work ahead. I will log in my other account here. Here our second account is open. You can see two shared hosting plans here. But to make our website we will use shared hosting. This is our domain hosted, which we have purchased recently. I will go to domains and click on it. Here, our domain will be seen here. Now we have not installed it now. We will install it now. I will first open it and click on it. Our website is blank. You can see some of the ways, because there is nothing inside. You can come back to your dashboard. After coming here, you have to click on login to CP panel. As soon as you click on it, you will see some of the interface. If it pops up, you can come cut it because we will set it up. First, we will install SL on it. For that, you have to scroll it. Here, you will see the last encrypt SL. You have to click on it. After that, you have to click on issue. After that, you have to scroll it. You have to click on issue again. Our SL is installed here on our website. Now you click on tools. After that, we will refresh it. You will see the SL here. Your SES is installed here. Now you have to come back to your cPanel. This is our C panel. You have to click on your toolkit. Simply you click on install. Or you can click on install bug press. I will click on install bug press. After that, we have to set up our bug press. Now we have to give our website title. Whatever title you want to keep. I will give my simple title. After that, you scroll it. Here you have to come to bug press administrator. Here, you have to select your username whatever you want to give your username. After that, you have to set up your password. You have to keep the password here because we will log in our BudPress dashboard. And here we will put our email. After that, you have to click on install. 
Our bud press is in the installation process. It will be installed in a while. Our bud press is installed. You can click on no thanks. After that, you have to click on the tools. Now, you have to go to the step where you have opened your domain and you have to refresh it. Here, you will see a website like this, which has default themes and all these. So, we will remove all the contents and we will set up our website here. Now you have to come here. You have to click on slash in front of your domain. Here, you have to write what desk admin. This is our press dashboard. To log in, I will log in here. Now we have to give username and password. This is our press dashboard. Now we will build our website from here. First, you have to go here on the screen's options. You have to untick all these. After that, you have to go here. On appearance and Thames, after that, you have to click on add new theme. And here, you have to search in search bar. Extra. After that, you have to install it. This theme has been installed on our website. Now, you have to activate it. Now, it has been activated on our website. After that, you will see a page like this. And here, you have to click on install starter template. Now, here, our plugin has been installed and activated. Now, you have to go to Appearance on Starter Template. Now, you have to go here on Starter Template. And here, you have to click on it. After that, you have to choose Elementor. Now, you have to scroll it. And here, you will see a lot of templates. Now, we are going to make a portfolio website. So, here, we will search for portfolio. Now, there are some premium themes in this. And some are free here. So, we will use the free one. You have to scroll it and we will use this theme and here we have to click on it and this is how it has been opened in front of us and here we have said to upload our logo but we will skip it because we will do all these things later you can skip it too and click on continue after that you can scroll it after scrolling it simply click on submit and build my website it will take some time and this theme has been installed on our website. Now we will click on view your website. And here our website has been opened, which we have selected themes. It has come into adjectives. Now we will customize its content according to our needs. Its header, its homepage, all the things we can customize according to our needs. Now, first of all, we will customize its homepage according to our needs. So for that, you have to come here, add it with Elementor. You can see it here. If it doesn't appear here, if it doesn't appear here, then you have to go here and reach your dashboard. This is our dashboard of Bud Press. After that, you can go here on the pages and scroll it. And here we can see the home page. You have to click on it simply. You have to click on it simply. You can see the edit with Elementor here. If it doesn't appear here, then click on edit. After that, cut it from here. And here you can see the edit with Elementor and click on it. And this is the Elementor that has been opened in front of us. Now, with the help of Elementor, we can change all the content here. So we will start customizing here. I will put Business Development Associate here. After that, I will change my name here. Change your name. After that, if you want to change this content, you can add anything from here. Now we will change our image here. We will put our image here. For that, click on the image here. And from here, you have to click on the image. So, our image has changed here. Now, in this way, you can change the rest of the content according to your own according. Now, here are the social icons. Now, here are the social icons. Now, how would you change them? So here, as soon as you click on it after that, it will open. And here, you will click on it. So here you can see the item text. You can see the text. If you don't want to see it, then you can select the icon here. After that, you can click on the link. If you have a link here, then you can click on the link here. Similarly, you can edit the rest of the content. After that, you click on the update. You don't have to forget this. Now, how will you manage your header? If you want to add an extra Edsum or remove it, then how will you add it? For that, you have to come to your WordPress dashboard scroll it you have to go to appearance on customize after that you'll get many options here 
to customize your theme, which you cannot do with the Elementor. You will get all those options here. Now we have to do our header change. For the header, we will go to the header builder. And here you are the people of your site. You can add or remove it here. You can add or remove it here. You can do whatever you want to do according to your needs. After that, this is the primary menu, which you can see above. So you will click on it. After that, you have to click on the main menu. According to the header menu here, you can change it here. You can customize it here. So if you do not want contact, then we will simply click on remove. After removing it, you can click on publish. The contact menu has gone from here, so you can customize it here. I have told you to change the logo. We will change the logo again. You can change your logo here. I will click on remove logo. After that, you have to select the logo. So I will put any image here. You can put it according to your needs. After that, you can change the title of the site here. After that, click on publish. So our logo has also changed. You can also edit the rest of the things here. You can also edit the rest of the things here. You can add the things that you cannot add on the element. You can also edit it here. Now, our website is fully ready.